سوس آینه بوری سان بوک چوین کزر نبی بون این ته نسه کزر نبی رو سی
you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I'm Reverend Shant Barsumian and I had the privilege and the honor to serve here at United Armenian Congregational Church with my dear brother and friend Reverend Harut Hachadurian. And I want to, on behalf of myself, uh, the church council, and offer my condolences uh, to the family. We are praying for you uh, and we love you. And I want to thank you all for coming to uh, offer your final respects to comfort the family and to truly give a tribute and see the life that Reverend Harut lived as a witness and a toast testimony. And we have gathered here in the house of our Lord to do just that. And I want to remind us what Reverend Harut continually told us again and again, that there is joy in this house. And although our joy today is tinged with grief and sorrow, we know that those feelings in time will fade, but the joy will remain. And as we come together to experience that joy that Reverend Harut had inside him, that he shared uh, with us every opportunity to get, that that joy came from the Lord, I want to read to us from the book of Lamentations. Bidgartam vohp Yeremaya yerot kuluchen, vor gese asigam mitges geperem, anor hamar puis gunenam, derocho vor mucham chahadank, vasenzi anor kutuchune chabaksetsav, Anonk amen ardugen orokvin, ku jishmadu chunit medze, im hokisasav, dere im pajinese, yes, ais bacharov anor bidi husam, dere parie, iren abavanornerun, iren abavanornerun, u zinc pandrove hokiin, teev tsav guda, irvor muchan shadu chunova kutuchun algene, kanzi, Ir gamkova neruchun chidar u martu vortinere chidat metzener. In Lamentations we read, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassion never fails. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, The Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those who, whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great is his unfailing love, for he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to anyone. And reminded as well of Jesus' words in the Gospel of John. Hovanu avedarnen. Jesus savanor yesem haruchuna u gyanka anvor inziga havada teev merni bidi abri 
և անվոր գենթանի է ու ինձի գհավադա Հավիդյան բիլի չմերնի թուն գհավադաս ասոր։ Jesus reminds us and tells us, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? I hope that we do believe this, and I hope that we do have our hope in the Lord. I want to again thank you all for joining us here to remember the life of Reverend Harutun Khachaturian, to offer comfort to the family, but we have gathered here to give thanks to God for his life and for his witness to all of us and the blessing that he has been to us all. I want to acknowledge my uh, fellow clergy here that have come uh, to uh, support us in our time of grief. Thank you uh, for being here. I want to acknowledge the re very Reverend Father Zadeh Sarkisyan here with us as well, as well as Mr. Zavin Khanjan from the Armenian Missionary Association of America. Thank you for your presence and your comfort uh, in our time of grief. Let us turn uh, to our Lord and let us pray. Heavenly Father, though we are grieved, though we are saddened, we turn to you because we have our hope in you. We pray that you offer us comfort and that you offer us your peace in this time of grief, that we turn to your word, Lord, for that comfort and for that peace, that we encourage one another in this time. We thank you for the life of our dear brother. We thank you for his witness and for his testimony and the joy that he shared with all of us he received that joy from you, Lord, because he had Jesus in his heart. He wanted to share that joy with everyone that he encountered and wanted to spread that joy for your glory and for your honor. Be with us in this time, Lord. Continue to lead us. We ask this all in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please all stand and we're going to sing to the Lord together. Worship with us as we sing to the Lord this morning.
time just our voices fill this place then sings my soul seated. As for the Shunchen Vidigartam, Hopai Kirken. Tasan Irot Kaluhi, Kasan Hingen, Michel, Kasan Yotrot, Hamar Nere. Was in Zikidem, Te Impergiches Woche, U Aniga, Verchin Jamanaga, Vidi Yele, Yegrivera, Utea Mortes Yetge, Isal Pajana, Pites in Marm Novas, Asfad Vidiasnem. Yes in Zi Hamar Vidiasnem, U Im Achgeres, Viti den Zaniga, Ye watched her Risha. Yeriga Mugneras, Imners and Gahalin. I'm going to be reading 1 Corinthians 15, 16 through 21. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are to be pit, um, pitied more than all men. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Takits Kankis, Amena Dejbar, Amena Chespas Vats, Yer Pervicech Patkirat Shats, Yev Karove, my special Sharna Kel, Ice Amena Neri Sharana, or Yer Pebe Petke, Arespe Ice Pahin, Kang Nelu Ice Survider, 
որտեղ հարութը կանգնեց եւ վկայեց ամենակարող տիրոջ մասին փորձել ձեզ բոլորից պատմելու մեր հարութի իմ հարազատ եղբորս կյանքից մի քանի տող էր այն եղբոր մասին ում է հետ պատիվեմ ունեցել ողջ կյանք բաշնեք ձեզ նրա ծնված օրվանից պահելով պաշտպանելով գրկիս եւ սրտիս մեջ մինչեպ իր վերջին շունչը այս աշխարհին վրա երբ սրտիս խորքից ճճացի i love you brother եւ դու աչքեր ես հազիվ կիսաբացանելով լսեցի եւ զգացիր իմ սիրո չափը դեպիք ես սաղմոսությունին առաջի համարը կսե տիրոջը ողորմությունները հավիտյան պիտի երկեմ քու հավատարմությունը իմ բերնովս ազգե ազգ պիտի պատմեմ սա էր հարություն խաչատրյանի կյանք գալու իմ աստը եւ նպատակը 1984 թվականի հունվարի 6-ը շատ նշանավոր եղավ խաչատրյանների ընտանիքի համար քանի որ այդ օրը հայաստանի Երևան քաղաքում Լուիս աշխար եկավ մեր սիրեսուր եղբայրը երրորդ որդին զավակը հարություն խաչատրյանը անսահման ուրախություն պատճառելով ծնողներին Մուրատ խաչատրյանին եւ Էլմիրա Առաքելյանին եւ իհարկե քրոջը նայրային եւ եղբորը գնելին այդպես էր աստված հաճո ընտանիքում հասակ առավ հարությունը վաղ մանկական հասակում խաղալիքներն էին տարբեր երաշտական գործիքները որոնց վրա էլ ինքն ու սկսեց նվագել եւ երկել հաճախեց Երևանի 174 միջնակարգ դպրոցը եւ միաժամանակ տեղի երաշտական դպրոցը որտեղ եւ իր հայտ եկավ իր բացառիկ երաշտական ունակությունները ծնողները հանդիսանալով ավետարանի հավատքի քրիստոնյաների եկեղեցու սկզբնային անդամներ հարությունին վաղ հասակից ներկա դարձրին եկեղեցու պաշտամունքներին որտեղ էլ դեռևս 7 տարեկան հասակից միացավ փառաբանության խմբին նվագելով դաշնամուրի վրա սիրվելով ողջ եկեղեցու կողմից 1997 թվականի նոեմբերին ընտանիքի հետ տակավին 13 տարեկան հասակում տեղափոխվեցինք եւ բնակություն հաստատեցինք Արգենտինայի Բուենոս Այրես քաղաքում այնտեղ շատ արագ տիրապետելով իսպաներեն լեզվին լավագույն աշակեր դարձավ դպրոցում եւ իհարկե տեղի հայ ավետարանական եկեղեցում արագ միացավ փառաբանության խմբին ու շատ սիրվեց եկեղեցու բոլոր անդամների կողմից հոգեվոր առաջին զայնասկավառակը հարութը թողարկեց դեր 18 տարեկանում հայերեն եւ իսպաներեն լեզուներով ծառայեց որպես փառաբանության առաջնորդ նաեւ Հիսուսը 100 տոկոս կյանք ավետարանական եկեղեցում եւ բոլորի շատ շատ սիրելիներ 2003 թվականից դարձյալ ընտանիքը մեր ընտանիքը տեղափոխվեց եւ այս անգամ ընտանիքով հաստատվեցին Կալիֆորնիայի Բրբենք քաղաքում այստեղ եւ շատ արագ տիրապետեց անգլերեն լեզվին ընտանիքով հաճախեցին գլենդելի հայկական տարբեր ավետարանական եկեղեցիներ ու բոլոր եկեղեցում եկեղեցիներում արագ միացավ փառաբանության խմբերին իր անզուգական նվագակցությամբ նոր որակ ու շունչ հաղորդելով 2006 թվականից անդամագրվեց քրիստոնեություն հարաքելություն հայոց եկեղեցում եւ շուրջ 10 տարի առաջնորդեց եկեղեցու փառաբանության խմբին ժողովրդին տանելով տիրոջ ներկայության մեջ 2007 թվականին աստված հարութի կյանքը միավորեց հավատակից սիրելի Այլին Ղադիմյանի հետ կազմելով աստված հաճո հրաշալի ընտանիք աստված օրհնեց իրենց եւ պարգևեց երկու հրաշամանուկներ Հոսեփին եւ Սամուելին հարությունը աստվածային սիրով ու անմնացորդ նվիրված էր իր սիրելի տիկնոջ ու զավակներին զավակների համար հիանալի հայր եղավ լինելով խաղանկեր ուսուցիչ եւ լավագույն կյանքի օրինակ 2016 թվականին նվիրվեց տիրոջ խոսքը քարոզելուն միաժամանակ նաեւ հասցրեց հոգեվոր բարձրագույն կրթություն ստանալու 
այդ տարիներին բազմաթիվ հոգևոր փառաբանության պաշտամունքներ կազմակերպեց եւ դրանում էր գտնում իր կյանքի ողջ իմաստը օրինակ ծառայելով շատ ու շատ երիտասարդների ունենալով տիրոջ առանձնահատուկ շնորհքը շուտով նկատվեց հայ ավետարանական եկեղեցու միության կողմից եւ հրավիրվեց ծառայելու ներկայիս միացյալ հայ ավետարանական եկեղեցում 2021 թվականի դեկտեմբերին տեղի ունեցավ հարությունի ձեռնադրությունը որպես հովիվ եւ ապա վերապատվելի այդ օրվանից հարություն վերապատվելի հարություն խաչատրյանը անմնացորդ նվիրվեց ծառայելու USCC եկեղեցու ժողովրդին որտեղ շատ ու շատ սիրվեց բոլորի կողմից հուլիսի 1 2022 թվականից ժողովրդի կողմից հարությունը ընտրվեց որպես եկեղեցու ավակ հովիվ Տիրոջ ներկայությունը պաշտամունքներին խոսքը քարոզեց առանձնակի ջերմերարնությամ Տիրոջը առնելով ու փոխանցելով ժողովրդին Ցավալիորեն սկսած հուլիս 2023-ի իր հայտ եկավ ամբուժելի հիվանդություն որի դեմ ամբողջ ընտանիքը եւ եկեղեցին եւ համայն հոգեվոր ժողովուրդը պայքարեց հուսալով որ հարութը պիտի վերադառնա ծառայելու տիրոջը սակայն շատ դաժան գտնվեց հիվանդությունը եւ չնայած բժիշկների գործադրած ամեն միջոցների 2024 թվականի հունվարի 19-ին ցավոք կտրվեց իր երկնային կյանքի թելը բայց գիտենք որ հաջորդ փահին նա հայտնվեց դեր Հիսուս Քրիստոսի ներկայության մեջ շարունակելով իր հավետենական կյանքը առանց ցավի ու տառապանքի հարութը միացավ երկնային հրեշտակների ու սուրբերի բազմությանը որոնց մեջ է նաև 2008 թվականից տիրոջմոմ ննջած իր սիրելի մայր էլմիրան հավետենապաս փառաբանելու իր սիրած փրկչին հարութը դու պարզապես փոխեց իր քոբնակության հասցեն հիմա հակած ես լուսափայլ բեր որ քո արտարություն էր ու հիմա թող երկնքից լավ այն ձայնը լավ լսվի այն ձայնը որ ասում է այս ու հետեւ երանելի են անոնք որոնք տիրոջ մոպ կնջեն եւ իրենց գործ իրենց յետեւից կերթա հարուջ ջան դու միշտ մես միշտ մենք կենթանի ես մեր հետ եւ մեր բոլորի սրտերում հոշնյալ լինի քո պայծառ հիշատակը կտես դու մենք աստծո թակավորության մեջ մեր սիրելի եղբայր եւ հարազատ Սիրում ու կարոտում եմ քեզ The last piece I just like to read a text when his son Joseph who is 13 texted to Harut the same night when we came home from from the hospital when Joseph found out and he went upstairs late night and sent the text to Harut Hi dad I love you so much and I wish to see you in heaven You will always be with us and me. I'm not giving up and keep working until I ex- I succeed. I love you and always will. Goodbye. Psalm 89:1 I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. On January 6th, 1984, in the heart of the Khachatryan family in the city of Yerevan, a beacon of light was born. Harut brought overflowing joy to his parents Murad and Elmira Khachatryan, sister Naira and brother Ganed. From the very beginning His life was marked by a divine touch and the connection with the word of melody. Growing up in the embrace of a beautiful godly family, Harut's journey unfolded like a harmonious symphony. Even in his earliest years, instead of traditional toys, Harut found solace and inspiration in musical instruments. His tiny fingers found their way to piano keys. and other instruments that became the companions of his childhood with a, with an innate talent for music he not only played instruments but also became a self-taught maestro 
learning to sing with a voice that echoed the beauty of his soul. The melody of his life started to take shape and those around him could sense the extraordinary gift that resided within this young and promising soul. Harut's musical pursuits became more than just a pastime. They became a part of his identity. Each note he played and every lyric he sang told a story of passion, dedication, and a profound connection with Christ. His journey with music was not just a hobby. It was a spiritual odyssey that would eventually, eventually touch the hearts of many. In the symphony of his life, Harut's early years were the prelude, setting the stage for the virtues he would become. Little did his family know that the young boy playing with musical instruments would grow up to be a source of inspiration, not only within the walls of their home, but also in the broader community where his melodies would resonate. The chords of Harut's life had only just begun to play, and the melody that emerged would soon weave its way through the tapestry of his existence. The seeds of passion sown in the form of musical instruments would blossom into a legacy of love, faith, and the universal language of music that transcends boundaries. In November 1997, at the tender age of 13, Harut embarked on a transformative journey with his family, leaving their home in Armenia to start a new chapter in Argentina in the vibrant city of Buenos Aires. Despite the challenges of adapting to a new culture and language, Harut's ability to quickly grasp Spanish set him apart as one of the best students in his class. It wasn't long before Harut's passion for music and his unwavering faith led him to join the Armenian Evangelical Christian Church worship team in Buenos Aires. His presence was like a melody that resonated with the hearts of those around him, and he was embraced with love by the entire community. At the age of 18, Harut took a bold step, releasing his first CD in both Spanish and Armenian, showcasing not only his musical talents, but also his commitment to spreading the message of love and faith. In 2003, the Khachatryan family once again set out on a new journey, this time to the United States, where they permanently settled in California in the city of Burbank. Harut learned yet another language, English, but his exceptional talents and skills quickly made him a sought after worship leader in various churches. By 2006, Harut had become the worship leader at COA Church, dedicating a decade of his life to serve within COA as the director of the worship team. His musical leadership brought a profound spiritual dimension to the congregation's worship experience. In 2007, a beautiful chapter unfolded in Harut's life when the Lord united him with Eileen Kadimian. Together, they built a loving family and were blessed with two sons, Joseph and Samuel. Harut's de dedication to his family was unparalleled, and he became an exceptional husband, father, a wise teacher, and a shining example of a life lived with purpose and love. In 2016, a profound shift occurred in Harut's life as he felt a new calling beckoning him beyond the realm of music. Driven by a deep sense of purpose, he decided to dedicate his time not only to the harmonies of melodies, but also to the powerful verses of the gospel. Harut embarked on a transformative journey of learning and spiritual growth, pursuing higher education with the goal of obtaining a master's degree in divinity theology at the International Theological Seminary. With the Lord's will as his guiding force, Harut embraced his newfound path wholeheartedly. This academic pursuit was not just a quest for knowledge, it was a testament to his unwavering commitment to understanding and sharing the profound teachings of the gospel. His time at the seminary became a period of introspection, prayer, and intellectual growth, preparing him for a role that extended beyond the musical notes he once played. Led by the Lord's calling, Harut found himself drawn to the United Armenian Congregational Church, where he was destined to weave new relationships with God's people. 
His presence became a source of inspiration and his unconditional dedication manifested in his tireless efforts to serve the youth, young adults, and to unite the entire community under the banner of faith and love of Jesus Christ. On December 12, 2021, Harut's journey entered a sacred and pivotal phase as he was ordained as a reverend. This significant moment marked not only a personal achievement, but also a deeper commitment to his mission of serving the people of the United Armenian Congregational Church with unwavering passion and devotion. Harut, with the anointing of ordination, continued his role as a reverend, guiding and nurturing the spiritual growth of the congregation. His dedication to the teachings of the gospel and his compassionate leadership endeared him to the hearts of the UACC community. As a testament to the impact he had on the congregation, it wasn't long before Harut's exemplary service and spiritual leadership were recognized. The loving members of the congregation, acknowledging his profound commitment and connection to the community, selected him to take on the role of senior pastor of UACC. This appointment was not just a position, it was a reflection of the trust and love the congregation had for Harut. A senior pastor, he embraced the responsibility of shepherding the flock, leading the community in worship, and providing spiritual guidance to all. Harut's journey from a musician to a reverend and then to the senior pastor exemplified a life dedicated to divine call, touching the lives of those he served. The melody of his service continued to resonate, now taking on the harmonies of pastoral care and leadership. Harut's tenor as the senior pastor became a chapter of deep spiritual connection and community building, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts and souls of the UACC members. As the senior pastor of UACC, Harut continued to share the love, faith, and wisdom that defined his life's journey. His legacy as a reverend and senior pastor lives on, a testament to a life lived in service to God and his people. In the face of unexpected health challenges in 2023, Harut's spirit remained resilient, hopeful, and unwaveringly faithful. His journey took a poignant turn on January 19th, 2024, as he peacefully entered his heavenly, eternal home. It was a moment where he transitioned from this earthly existence to the embrace of his mother, Elmira Khachatrian, and found solace in the arms of Jesus Christ. Harut left behind a legacy that resonates with love, faith, and the timeless melodies of music. His life was a living testament to the transformative power of faith, showcasing how a dedicated life in service to others can have an enduring impact. Harut's legacy doesn't end with his passing. It lives on through the hearts and lives he touched. His sons, Joseph and Samuel, carry forward the torch of love and faith that their father so ardently lit. Additionally, his nephews, David, Daniel, Arthur, and niece, Liana, become torch barriers of his legacy, ensuring that the values he embodied continue to shine bright in the generations to come. The memory of Harut with his musical notes and spiritual teachings will forever be etched in the hearts of those who knew him. His life, though concluded on earth, lives on through the love he shared, the faith he nurtured, and the music that will continue to echo in the hearts of all those touched by his grace. Harut's journey may have reached its earthly destination, but the melody of his legacy continues to play, a timeless song of love, faith, and enduring inspiration. Kristalagan <laughs> Aniga Takavur Nerun Archer Vidigenan, Aragats Ksanir Guk Sanine. Do you see a skillful person in his work? 
He will stand before kings. That started our 10 year journey together. I'm best Hasun Gerevnar, or Dagavin Darik Cheikider, or Miren Hartu Tikai Daraganes. A stuff Ksanyerek Daraganem Zarmata Irabes, Ir Hasunutian, Badrasutian. Darinerun Tatskin, Miasin Anakantat, Sports Arutunerunetank, Miasin Zrakritzing, Zunantian, Zatgava. Andanegan, Yegeretagan, Havakner, Yevirabes, Violetzing, Aston Ergaichuna, Snorri, Haruti, Dagan Nerun, Yev Bashamunki, Arach Nortutian Garotian. Anorgokin Naevunetsank, Urish, Abedan Chagan, Arshavner, Irakord Zelu, Teglen de Limech, Yev Te, Detroit Kark image, Yev Montreal image. Urvor Katzing, Dera, Irabes Kordzets, Irmichotab. <laughs> Joseph Yev Semna Miatsan. Dagavin Achkerus Archev Gedesnem at Yerehanerun Vazela, Igeretzi Holloway Nerum Mech. Shat Barner Gernamasel, Yev Vestahem BDS Vin, by Tim de Babortunus Arutimvra, Edevialne. I shop at Yep Gaote, I scorer to Tervetsav, Anor Sidel Letsuner and Mer Sirov. Uncle Rem Pare, he possessed an innocent love. Arsung an bagaskalar yev yes desadzem yev khorer vor megi iren sxalg megna paner vorov edev husakhap yegadzer idmov He had such love for everyone that he wanted to make everyone feel special It truly hurt him when he couldn't do that and he would cry Ashus nuin hokyov bashtamunkner garach norter there is a lava queen of Gagan Galer. You ink bed girl or lava queen of Madutaner. You have Madutanets, ear jug dinker dink over. Kani and come there in Tashkinak to Vazen for jug dinker dink a surfe. Joe Bori in a dust head of Yalagase, circuit inch for Ketne and Elu, Holoru Jovedere. Whatever you find to do with your hand, do it with all your might. And certainly he did. Do it with all his might, and he sees the fruit of his labor. Yeregor Araj, in Menik Bahismech, Gagartae Hosepi Gyanka, Yev Hagopi Gyanka, Hagopi Portsank Nera, Darineru in Tatskin, Aniga Abretsav Sukimech, Mola Beskistan Dari, Yev Hamos Vazir, or Hosep Merazir. Sagan Lura Hasavi then were of Septakavim Voce. If Shudov Arit Vidunai then Hantibelu. Ice Hamarner were this sunsets. Hagobin Sirdegese Gent Hanatsav. The word that came to me three days ago was this As Jacob heard 
that Joseph was still alive and that he would have the opportunity to meet him. This is the word that says, when they told Jacob all the words of Joseph, and when he saw all the wagons that Joseph had sent to carry him, Jacob's heart and spirit revived within him. I saw Radia Paidas, Sirin Danik, Harutin Anush Haider, Keratsik Digina, Yek Paida, Kuida, Yep Kudesnes Kushush, Astro Barkevner, Vor Harutin, Serka, Hisusov Peraza Kezi, Kual Steed, Gavera Gentan and Isor, Harutin Kezi Togads, Jaran Kutunova, Hisus Christos Yanov, Togad Jaran Kutuna Kezi, Amrots Malla. God bless you. Thank you for this opportunity that I have today to share with you. Hara was many things to each of us. To some he was a pastor, a colleague to others, a brother in Christ to most of us. God blessed him with the gift of music and a beautiful singing voice. He was a gifted teacher to those of all ages. He was a leader. He was a strategic thinker. He was gifted administratively. No offense, Bob Phillies, that's not what you guys are known for. He was gifted in business. Naturally, he was a gifted pastor, shepherding his flock, unlike most others. He could break down scriptures in ways that resonated with anybody that was lucky enough to hear him. He loved the Lord, living the great commandments and teaching others to do the same. He was gifted with adults and children alike. He connected with all ages. I used to tell him, even dogs and cats like you. Everyone was drawn to him. What I'm going to miss most are our breakfasts at the coffee shop down the street. Harut, George, and I would meet, and he would give his plans for the future of the church, and you should have seen the excitement on his face. He had such a great vision, and everything was planned to glorify God. It was remarkable. He changed us. I can tell you, he changed me. Through his conduct, we all learned to be better. He made us better individually and as a church. For me, he made me more patient, tolerant, forgiving, compassionate, and more understanding. At last Friday's prayer meeting was the day that he passed. Shamra Chavor stood right down there, and she said that his fingerprints were all over that piano and those keyboards. But more importantly, his handprints are all over us, all over us. Harwood would want to have seen these changes cemented in us for the future. I don't care if it's a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. If the good Lord were to send down his CSI team and dust for fingerprints at our church, at your homes, or at your work, I want us to all still be covered in his prints. We are all the last eyewitnesses of this man's greatness, not of his own doing, but of God's. And to those that were blessed to know him and learn from him, especially the youth, don't forget what and how he taught you. Teach it to others. It was all Bible-based. It will take you far in life. But for all that he was to us, to each of you, to me, 
What I'm most proud to say is I loved him, he loved me, and he was my friend. Dear Pastor Hodden. 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 Thank you for introducing me to this wonderful church community and teaching me the beauty of selflessly loving and serving those around me. You showed me always to look to Jesus throughout my day. You played so many different roles in our life, whether it was our pastor, our teacher, our mentor, our worship leader, our friend, sports fan, jokester, confidant, supporter, prayer warrior. And through all of these different things, you always pointed to Christ. Thank you for being the light in this world full of darkness and for spreading it to those who needed it most. My heart smiles when I think about you because you showed me the light of God. Your love for God shone so deeply when you sang and played piano. You brought me so much closer to God, and every time you preached, it really stuck with me. You invited us to church with open arms. You went out of your way to have a meal with us and pray with us. You helped us build our relationship on a Christ-centered foundation. Thank you for being an amazing teacher, showing me Christ's love, and bringing me back to serve UACC. You had a special way of spreading love and joy around the church. You never missed an opportunity to love someone, even through the smallest of details. Thank you for teaching me how to play in a band. Sharing the stage with you is something I'll never forget. You were not only a great pastor, but a really good friend. Your joyous spirit inspired me to fully embrace my God-given gift of singing. Whenever I would miss youth group on a Friday night, you would immediately text me to make sure I was okay and to let me know that I was missed. I always admire how you made the Word of God accessible and clear to whoever your audience was. You were always so patient with us. For one of the church banquets, youth group was going to sing a song. And I remember you practicing consistently with us for weeks, making sure it was going to be perfect. When you're doing the Christmas tree decorating, you asked me about stage to sing a worship song with you. That's something I always wanted to do. You always showed me how to follow and love Jesus. Your ability to command attention and respect when speaking about the Lord, especially to the wildest of children, showed me your deep commitment to spreading God's word. You helped me build a relationship with God, and I'll love and appreciate you forever for that. You were there for me whenever I needed you, no matter what time of day. I'll never forget how you came to four of my high school musical productions and were the first person to hug me as I walked off that stage. From playing volleyball, to leading VBS together, to being your camper for Camp Arev, you've shown me God's light and love. You inspired me and many others in so many ways to step up and serve alongside you to build God's kingdom. Thank you for encouraging me to step up and learn the audiovisual system of the church. I've always admired your ability to stay joyful. When I met you, I knew that I met the friend of Jesus. Thank you for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. When you were a youth pastor, something you always emphasized to us on Friday nights was to make sure to build our life on a strong foundation of Christ. When it was time for Amina's dedication, you had planned the most special service so that even the children could see that at a young age, God wants to play a big role in their lives. You always cared about everyone from the bottom of your heart. You were the best listener. Even though you were going through your most difficult days of your life, I will never forget how you always checked in with us during my wife's pregnancy until the last day. This last year and a half, my relationship with Christ became stronger, and I want to thank you for always telling me to trust in the Lord. Your vision for uniting people from all backgrounds and ages was truly amazing. The passion and the awe you had every time you talked about Jesus has inspired me and so many others to live a life full of Christ. You had so much faith in God and the passion that you put truly amazing. Of Harut's life in Argentina, we'd love to offer a prayer in Spanish, so please bow your heads in prayer. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. Venimos a ti hoy con corazones contritos y humillados, los cuales sabemos no despreciarás. Primeramente te pedimos que traigas tu paz y consuelo a toda la familia Hachaterian, así como el resto de su parentela. 
Dales esperanza y la fuerza para seguir adelante con una fe purificada y fortalecida más pura que el oro. Por Aileen te pido que te presentes como consolador y solo tú puedes llenar el vacío enorme en su corazón. Llénalo con tu presencia, trae paz y consuelo a su corazón y que un poco de la paz y el descanso que Harut ahora goza contigo puedan descender y llenar su corazón. Que sus hijos Joseph y Sammy crezcan como hombres poderosos de Dios, que te sirvan con todo su corazón como lo hizo su padre. Te pedimos que una doble porción de la unción de Harold repose sobre Joseph y Sammy en el nombre de Jesús. Por Ganel y Naira te pido que sea su compañía en los momentos de soledad, que puedan imaginar a su hermano tocando música en tu presencia en medio de los ángeles y que uses a sus hermanos y hermanas en Cristo como instrumentos para ministrar consuelo. Tú sabes lo que es perder a tu hijo Jesús. Te pido que consueles a Murad como solo tú puedes. Dale esperanza que por su fe en tu hijo, Harut descansa en tu reposo eterno. Por la iglesia local y global, a través de Harut, nos enseñaste el poder de la unidad en el cuerpo de Cristo. Que podamos tener muchos dones y funciones diferentes, pero en Cristo somos un solo cuerpo. Que la unidad trae sanidad. Te pedimos por las diferentes comunidades que Harut sirvió y alcanzó en Sudamérica, Armenia, Medio Oriente y todo Norteamérica. Fortalécenos y concédenos tu paz. Y no te alabamos como cristiano, Señor, porque concedes cada petición. Te adoramos, Señor, porque eres el Rey de Reyes. Y Señor de señores, el Creador del cielo y la tierra, el que mandó a su único Hijo Jesús a morir en la cruz por nuestros pecados para que no pereciéramos, sino que tuviéramos vida eterna. Por eso te adoramos, Señor. Tú eres Emanuel, Dios con nosotros. A esa vida eterna ha entrado tu siervo Harold, el que está contigo en tu gloria. Este evangelio, estas buenas nuevas, fue lo que definió la vida de tu siervo Harold y fue fiel hasta el final. Gracias por enviar a Harut a este mundo a hacer luz en medio de las tinieblas. Gracias por la unción musical y pastoral que le diste. Él no enterró su talento, pero lo puso a tu servicio y multiplicó al ciento por uno. Consuela a su familia y a su iglesia que tanto lo quiso. En el nombre de Jesús. Amén.
ever since Sona and I had the joy and privilege to know and love Harut, our relationship became one of a family. In the quest to fill the vacant Armenian evangelical pulpits, the discovery of this child of God was made by the then Minister to the Union, Reverend Jambazian, who urged us during a visit to the Southland to meet and hear this young man preach at a worship service in the social hall of the UACC. We were blissfully impressed and soon wholeheartedly embraced him. There was chemistry between us. Not only chemistry, geography, history, music, faith, and patriotism. As passionately as he loved Jesus, Harut loved his homeland and the identity God had gifted him. AMAA fervently supported his education, asked him to serve on AMAA's Centennial Youth Conference in Armenia, participate in annual meetings, serve on committees, and lead the 2024, yes, 2024 internship program. MAA joyfully watched the admiration and love develop with the communities he visited. In the homeland, South and North America, the Near East, and the Southland. AMA rejoiced with Pastor Harut's involvement in the AUNA, Merdinian School, Camp Parev, UACC, and what an unforgettable blessing it was to have him shoulder to shoulder on our 2023 mission trip to South America. Our relation climaxed with his ordination on December 12, 2021. I wrote to him, you have a heavy burden on your shoulder, but the diversified talents that God has graced you with and the outpouring love that feeds your energy will carry you forward. That forward was not long enough to meet our desire. Ever since childhood, with every utter of, give us today our daily bread, we have faithfully prayed, thy will be done. Today, despite that conviction, I find it humanly incomprehensible to think that this is God's will, which reminds me of our brilliant historian, Yerishe, from whom I borrow. Harut Astudzo Imatsyal Neverner Mezi, Paitsmer Voch Imatsyal Nevera Yerginkin. Harut is a most pre precious gift from God and an unanticipated gift from man to heaven. AMAA grieves with Pastor Arut's family, the church, and community, and despite the difficult times, rejoices in his life and finds consolation in the hope of resurrection. Many of us wished this was a dream and we could wake up to find out Reverend Harut here on this stage, leading the worship service and sharing the word of God with us. But unfortunately, in this memorial service, with tears in our eyes, we have gathered to celebrate his love, his life. On behalf of the AUNA moderator, Reverend Calvin Sagarian, all union pastors, those present and those absent, I want to express our heartfelt condolences to Reverend Harut's wife and children, Eileen, Joseph, and Samuel, his father, Murad, and his siblings, Kanel and Naira, 
and their family members. We pray that God of comfort may comfort you and all of us in this difficult time. The religious leaders of the Armenian community in Southern California, Archbishop Derterian, Bishop Muradian, and the Armenian prelacy represented here by Father Zare Sarkisian, as well as the leaders of Armenian Evangelical Unions worldwide, Reverend Dr. Tutikian, Reverend Dr. René Levonian, Reverend Dr. Haidosian, Reverend Gilbert Levonian, and Reverend Hovsepian from Eurasia, Middle East, Europe, and Armenia, and many of our colleagues here in the United States and Canada, through letters, phone calls, and social media posts have conveyed their condolences to the family, to the church members, and to AUMA, a, AUNA leadership. Even in this tragic time, Reverend Harut brought us all together in God's presence as he was doing when alive. Reverend Harut loved the Lord so dearly as a proud Armenian, he loved his people wholeheartedly. His interpersonal skills made it so easy for him to connect people from all walks of life. His musical gifts, his knowledge of different languages and cultures, and familiarity with social media and its usage expanded the scope of his influence. For him, ministry was not limited to his local church and his job description. During the COVID lockdown, Harut entered the homes of thousands of people, sharing the joy and comfort that cross Christ and the scriptures offer. His video clips continue to touch many people's lives. As a union pastor and minister, he was ready to serve wherever and whenever he was needed. He was an active participant in our joint events, offering his best to make it a God-pleasing event. Even during his short visits to our churches, in different cities, and during his trips abroad to Middle East, to Armenia, to South America, he impacted people's life, bringing them closer to Christ, strengthening their faith, and alleviating their pain. God blessed him with multiple gifts, and he used them to expand God's kingdom and glorify God's name. It is heartbreaking to lose such a gifted and devoted person so early in his life. Reverend Harut, you are missed dearly. But God is our refuge and strength, and may he comfort and sustain each one of us by his presence as we continue praying for each other. God bless you all. The splendor of a king Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice Let all the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light In dark Trembles at his voice, and trembles at his voice as we sing. How great is our God! Come on now, sing with me. How great is our God? In all we'll see how great. Here I am, the devil hears, 
I'm not here for you anymore. Do you think the devil is happy? Of course not. It's not only who you talk to, it's also who's listening to you. When Jesus said, here I am to God. Jesus also said, here I am not to you, devil. Devil doesn't like that. Devil doesn't like heroes, just to let you know. People sweat water, heroes sweat blood. The disciples were not indifferent, they were just different. What I'm saying is you can't expect from them what is expected from you. So do not be disappointed. When you say, here I am, there will be betrayals. The only way to, to hurt you, hero, is to misrepresent you. If they cannot stop you, they'll try to hide you. Do not be surprised. The second you said, here I am, things changed in your life. The word says an angel appeared to him from heaven, giving him heavenly strength. Oh, I love this. The second you said, here I am, and the devil says, I'm coming to get you, tell him, try all you want. Because when I said, here I am to God, the heavenly strength, the Holy Spirit, the power of the Spirit now is available to me. So ultimately, here's the battle. It's not you devil against me, but it's you devil against the God to whom I said, here I am. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for being such a wonderful church. I was called, you are called according to His purpose. So I accept and I want you to accept that all things, even the ones we just don't get it, all things will work together for our good to bring us closer to God. Kısan ine darine raraç, yesev badanime miasin hayastanimeç, hagop muşagutayin getronimeç, arev midyan tağamasum miasin deroç zarayetsin ki. Ayt pokrik badanin harutikner. Kısan ine darine raraç. Նույն հոգիով, նույն շունչով, նույն էյությունով ապետարանը հրճակվեցավ բանգլադեշի մեջ։ Այնադեն իր հայրը եգեղեցվո հեգաբարներեն էր, ներգա էր և պնավ չեմ մորնար այդ բահը, որ մի ասնապար անցուսինք։ Հարութը դարի ներու ընթացքին սկսանք մդեր մանալ։ Եվ ամեն ամիս կրետը երեկ ժամ, չոր ժամ միասին գամցնեինք և իմ եղպայրագան և հոբվագան խրադները գպոխանցը է հարութին։ Եվ գսեի ավետարանը կարոզետում, գան չվածես ա� Եվ հարութը մնաց հավադարիմ, եվ ուզեց իր ուսումը շարունագել, եվ ծերքեր սեգածը ըրի և մի ասնապար համակործակցեցանք, եվ ուսումը շարունագեց, եվ դիրացավ պարցրակույն նիշերով ամդիվ դիտղոսին։ 
Asik asro shunork ne muratja. Astuzo ner korzuchun ne ir match, yev ir eichan match. Yev harute badras der abedaran her chagelu ir shurchabadin am khidir. Sev magainer ir archev. Japonci magainer ir archev. Nuin shunchov, nuin gragov, nuin yerantov abedaran ger chager. Urishnerund. I said Harute. Harute angerts ashager der Christosi. Yev Harutin had miasin, yev vera bad veli ara chakirian, yev vera bad veli jo garabedian, yev vera bad veli herag karagusian, yev yes. Եվ հարութը միասին ճամպորտեցինք արջենտինա եւ ուրուգվայ։ Մեր թարգմանի ճանշուշտ վերաբատվել է հարութներ։ Հիանալի գերբով ապետարանը գհրչագեր իրենց դեղական լեզվով։ Եվ փարկ ուդամ հարութին դաղանդներուն համար հարութը երկեց, նվակեց եւ քարոզեց Եվ միասին ունեցանք օրտնապեր շրջաբուդույթ մա արջենտինայի մեջ, ինչպես նաև ուրուգվայի մեջ։ Եվ վերադարձանք հարութը լուրջ էր։ Ինչ որ գվերապերեր Քրիստոսի հետ։ Եվ ո՞եվ է ադեն, որ Քրիստոսի անունը պիտի հրճակվեր եւ Քրիստոսի անունը պիտի փարաբորվեր հարութը միշտ ներկայեր էյուչյամ մտքով սրտով հոգիով ավետարանը գհրճակեր բոլորին եւ ես այսօր ուրախ եմ ցեզի հետ 4 կարևոր խորհուրդներ բաժնիցելու շատ արագ բացելի ռան 4 եւ այս Հոսքը գտնենք Ռևերենդ Հարություն Խաչադրյան Հարություն փարն է Հարություն փարը գգարտանք մենք առաջին գորընթացիս 15-րդ քուլխուն 42-րդ համարեն այս է մեր ելներուն հարությունը Մարմինը աբագանությունով գսերմանվի եւ անաբագանությունով հարություն գարն է անաբագ անա անկուտությունով գսերմանվի եւ փարա փարկով հարություն գարն է դգարությունով գսերմանվի եւ զորությունով հարություն գարն է գսերմանվի շնչավոր մարմին եւ հարություն գարն է հոգեվոր մարմին 4 անգամ հարություն փարը գրված է ասվազա շնչի մեջ Եվ ես եւ որ գբրբդեի եւ գփնդրեի քդա քդա այդ հատվածը ուր հարություն փարը գնշանակի Քրիստոս հարյավի մերելոց եւ հարությունը քորձածվեցավ աստուծո թակավորության մեջ սուրբ հոգվույն զորությամբ եւ ներքորձությամբ եւ ուր որ քնած դարբերություն չներ ավետարանը հրճագեց սիրով առաջին հարությունը գուզեմ բաժնեք ցիր ցերզի հետ մարմինը աբագանությունով գսերմանվի եւ ան աբագանությունով ինչ հարություն գարն է եւ այդ հարության մեջ կա զորություն եւ հերաքրքրական է որ մահը եւ աբագանությունը հետևանքն են աթամական անգումին Սակայն մարմինը աբագանությունով գսերմանվի եւ ան աբագանությունով հարություն գարն է Շիտակ է որ մենք անշունչ մարմինին արչև գայնացենք Սակայն հարութը այսօր երկինքի մեջ է գենթանի է ողջ է հզոր է եւ հրաշքներ են գադարվում երկինքի մեջ Եվ մենք փարկ պետք է գիտանք աստուծո որ քեզիբես հայրը ուներ սրդանց հոգիո սրդով ցանեց հունդը իր մեջը եւ ինք մնաց հավադարի մինչև վերջ իր գողագիծը յանալի անսնավորություներ դեսար աբրեցար եւ նաեւ թափանցեցի իր էյութենեն ներս սրելիներ մարմինը աբագանությունով 
գսեր մանվի, բայց ան աբագանությունով հարություն գարն է։ Եգրորդ անարկությունով գսեր մանվի պարքով հարություն գարն է։ 55 տարի հովիվ եղած եմ և փորձած եմ այս պարք պարը բարզապանել, հստագացնել և մինչև այսօր չեմ գրծած։ Այնքան խորունգ է աստուծո պարքը։ Եվ իրագանության մեջ հարությունը անարկությունով գսերմանվի և պարքով հարություն գարն է։ Եվ այս հատվածի մեջ պարք պարը անգամ եվ սկխոնար հիմ ձեր արջերը, որ չեմ գրնար դարացի որեն եղացին բես ժշկրիտ որեն պացադրել և մեկնապանել։ Բայց հարություն գրիչը պարկ գնշանակ է հարուսնություն, երգնային հանքամանք, ծնձալից բատիվ, ով թրներ կլուխնիտ վեր վերցուսեք, վերցուսեք ով հավիտենագան թրներ, ով է այս պարած թակավորը, զորքերու դերը ինքն է պարած թակավորը, անարկություն, ինչ է անարկություն, անարկությունը գնշանակ է նվաստացում, անասկամութեն են անցավ թեպի գյանք։ Եվ մենք հարութի մեջ դեսանք այդ գյանքը, համդեսեցինք այդ գյանքը, իր խոսքով, իր վերապերմունքով, իր կարոզներով, իր խրատներով, եվ այդ երի դասարդները որոնք ել ան Եվ վգայեցին, թե ինչպես հարութը իրենց գյանքեն ներս թապանցած է, իմ աղոտքն է, որ այդ երդասարդները մնան մինչև իմա հավադարիմ և ձարայեն աստուծո և այս եգեղեցի իմ մեջ։ Երորդ դգարությունով գսերմանվի, զորու� մենք պորորս ալ դգարենք, մենք պորորս ալ սահամանապակ ենք, սարյան մեր դգարության մեջ աստուզո զորությունը գհայտնվի և իրագանության մեջ դգարության մեջ աստուզո զորությունը սկացինք հարութին գյանքի մեջ։ Ես շիտա� իր խրատներով, իր վարմունքով, իր աբրելագերբով Քրիստոսը արդացոլասուց իր ամպողջ կյանքի մեջ։ Եվ իրագանության մեջ կեղեցիկ հատված մգաբողոս առակյալ, նաև հաշվանտամութեն է գդարաբեր։ Սագայն բողոս առ հալածանքներս, նեղություններս, Քրիստոսի համար, երբ գդգարանամ, այն ադեն զորավոր գսկամ։ Եվ վերջին գետ, վերջին գետ, հասա վերջին գետ, գիտեք ժամանակը պետք է հարքենք այսպես արիտներուն, գսեր մանվի շնչավոր մարմին, հար Մարմինը հոս է, բայց ես կհավադան, որ հարությունը, հարություն առավ, Քրիստոսի ներգայության մեջ է, եվ հրաշտեր մի կորդուվի իր միջոցավ, եվ իր հոգևոր գյանքը գշարունակվի հոն երգինքի մեջ, մխիտարվե սերելի եղբայր, մ մխիտարվեցեք ընդանիքի անդամներ, անուները չեմ կիրեր, բայց կեզ գիշեմ, որբես իր մեզ եղպայրը, հիանայալի եղպայր մնե իր, լավակույնը տվիր իրեն, զողվեցար, ամեն վարգան, ամեն դեղ, եվ ամեն ժամ, եվ դվիր ու դվիր ո Սվելիներ, ես գուզեմ պագել գսերմանվի շնչավոր մարմին, շնչավոր ժամանագավոր է, բորորսալ այդ չուն չու ունինք, 
ժամանակավոր է երբ որ այդ շունչը մեզ մեհրանա արդեն ոչ ինչ ենք հողին կպատկանենք բայց հոգեվոր մարմինը աստուծո շնորհքն է որ գստանանք քրիստոսի միջոցով եւ այդ հոգեվոր մարմինի մեջ քալենք եւ հոգեվոր մարմինի մեջ վգայենք հոգեվոր մարմինի մեջ հարութին հետևորդները լանք ոչ թե խոսքով հաբանայեւ գյանքով եւ ես կհավատամ որ աստված բիլի հրաշքներ կդարե այդ երդասարտները որոնք ել են խոսեցան եւ վգայեցին ես մեծ համարում ունիմ եւ գաղոթեմ եւ գքաչալերեմ իրենց եւ նաեւ աստո խոստումներ ուդամ որ մի վախնակ կացեք կացեք ինչ որ հարուտը ցանեց սեր սրդի մեջ ցանեցեք մարդոց սրդերու մեջ ու ասված օրդնեցես ու ասված բահեցես եւ աստո օրդնությունը ծեր փոլորին վրարալ հարուտը իմ գրծեր եղբայրս է եւ գմնա այդպես ամորանալի եղբայրը որու հետ ես ամիսը 2 3 4 ժամ հանդիպում գունենայի եւ մեր խոսակցությունը հոգեվոր խոսակցություն էր ինչպես գրնանք եկեղեցի իմ մեջ առաջնորդներ լալ եւ եկեղեցին վերագնքնել եւ աստուծո փարկին համար ծառայել եկեղեցի այսօր բատկամը ժամանակ անցավ սակայն մեկ փանգ ուզեմ ասել ինչ որ լսեցինք այսօր մի ցկեք որ օթի մեջ շոկ յանա թույլ դվեք որ սեր սրդերու մեջ մուտ քորձ է հրաշքներ կդարե այլափոխ է եւ ցես քորձացե հարուտին հոգիով հարուտին շունչով հարուտին հավատքով համայն աշխարի ավետարանը հրճագելու համար ու ասվազորտեցես ամեն fills the streets to look upon the one who bled to save me and walk with him for all eternity there will be a day when all will bow before him there will be a day when death will be no more standing face to face with he who died and rose again holy holy is the lord every prayer we prayed in desperation the songs of faith sank through doubt and fear and in the end we see that it was worth it when he returns to wipe away our tears and there will be
rest and be beside the heroes of the faith. With one voice, a thousand generations, sing worthy is the Lamb who was slain. On that day, we joined the
So I have to say, I've been dreading this moment. I, it's been very hard to think of what to say today and how to speak today. Um, but I chose a passage, a verse I want to read to you, and I want to share some thoughts with you that I hope will be relevant on this important day. This is uh, John chapter 12. It's not an unfamiliar verse. It's verse 24. Is Jesus speaking? Jesus says, Truly, truly, I say unto you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, it remains by itself alone. But when it dies, that's when it bears much fruit. Now, I read that passage because I want to explain it to you a little bit. And the first important thing I want to tell you is, and I think it's important for us all to understand, that our brother, dear Reverend Khashadurian, did not die on Friday, January 19, 2024. And I don't mean that just in the sense that we know he's alive in heaven. I think what I'm talking about now is about death. Not about him being alive in heaven. He did not die on Friday, January 19th. You see, we read these verses all the time at funerals. But when Jesus said these words, he was not talking about falling to the earth and dying when our mortal bodies are done and we are buried in the ground and then we will rise up in the kingdom of heaven and bear fruit somehow in the kingdom of God. That's not what Jesus was talking about at all. Jesus meant that we must fall to the earth and die when we come to him. When we receive him, we fall to the earth and die like a grain of wheat, and then our lives can begin. Until then, we remain alone, separate. But when we die in Christ, we come to him and we bear much fruit. We must die to sin, we must die to our old way of life in order to be his disciples and to bear fruit. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, if anyone is in Christ, when we come to Christ, he is a new creation, the old is gone. We have died in that moment and now the new has begun. That's something that happens today, not in heaven, not the day our mortal bodies die. So Pastor Harut did not die on the 19th of January. The fact is he died many years ago when he gave his life to Jesus Christ and thank God he did. Paul says in Galatians, I have been crucified with Christ. I have died with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So pastors, Harut's mortal life did not end that day. It ended many, many years ago. And he began living each day from that moment on for the glory and service of God. Now, Paul says something else in Philippians. He tells the Philippians that when they do this, when they come to Christ, when they begin living as believers, when they begin obeying the word of God and accepting Jesus into their hearts, he says, then you will shine among them like the stars in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life. It's only when we die and come alive in Christ that we shine like stars. Because Harut died and let Christ live through him, he shined like a star. And I would say not only shine like a star, in my mind he shined like a comet. He shined like something that exploded bright and hot on this world and he shot through this life and he had a tail that went behind him and he left that trail in life and now he leaves it as well as he goes beyond us. His testimony was bright and clear. And the fact is that many others have lost their lives because of him. Many others have lost their lives to the gospel of Jesus Christ because Haru shone so hot and bright. Now, I want to say a few things about Pastor Haru's testimony and, and my experience with him. And I want to say, first of all, 
I could stand up here for an hour and talk about Pastor Hart. There's, uh, it's very hard for me to narrow this down. He and I actually had kind of a thing that we hated to enter each other's offices. My office was here, his office was there, and we, we would stand at the door and not want to cross the threshold because we knew as soon as we went across that threshold, it was done. We were in there for two hours. Our whole day was shot. We would talk and talk and talk and talk about everything. So I want to try to make this very concise. The first thing I want to say is that, and this is something you might not think about, but to me, I think about this. He was a, a, a master of social media, right? Now, why do I say that? Because we know he had amazing interpersonal gifts. Here among us, we know that he was great at just touching people and being in everybody's lives. But social media was like just putting a magnificent amplifier on that. It just took all of it. It was like it was invented for him. He took that, and the, when you add social media to that, his influence spread everywhere. I go around the country. I say, you know, there's this guy, Pastor Haru. Pastor Haru, we know him. Oh, he it's like he reaches out of the screens. He reaches out of the phones, and he touches people's lives. And you know, I know myself, I've always been someone who has said, electronic communication is, is, is too impersonal. You can't communicate personal things electronically. And to me, it, it, it's amazing that he did that. How with a few words, with a little video, with a little song, with a little touch, he could touch people's lives through electronic media all over the world. And it would make a difference. And that's the second point, is that he made everyone feel special that way. Not just people here, people all over. People who don't even know him, never met him. And they tell me, oh, I feel like I have sp such a special union with him. You know, if I, if I had a ball right now, and I took that ball and I just threw it out into the audience somewhere, and anybody would catch it, that person would have a story. That person would say, yeah, Pastor Hart and I had a special relationship. Even if you never met him, he has that special connection. I would think about this, um, as I knew him, I'd say, this is not practically possible. It cannot be that someone can have such special relationships with so many people, not just here, but all over the country, all over the world. But it's possible by the grace of God. Third, he had no pride of place or position. He was just as comfortable up on the pulpit being the leader as we saw him in those videos, preaching the gospel, leading, administrating, being the leader of the church as he did, as we saw in other pictures, putting on costumes and having the little children in VBS crawling all over him or going and breaking down tables and moving chairs during the church picnic or you know, cleaning up something somewhere else. He had no pride of place or position. He just wanted to serve God. And, and finally, we all know he had many gifts. He had amazing gifts. His musical gift was incredible. But the thing I want to make clear is that he knew it was a gift, and he knew that all of his gifts, including that one, were not his to possess. They were not his. He never thought of himself as a performer. I would say that to him. I can't say, Pastor Hart, you know, we have a special service coming up, whether it was Christmas or Easter or Thanksgiving, whatever it was. It'd be nice if you'd sing a song during the church service. He'd just say, Tch. he'd say, Reverend Ron, I'm, you know, I'm not a performer. I don't want to just sing a song. I won't just sing. He said, if I can find a couple of other musicians, if I can find a soloist, or if I can find a, a couple of other instrumentalists, whatever, to put together a little group and create a situation where I can let them shine, then I'll do it. But if I don't find anybody, no, I, I won't. Anytime he performed, he wanted to take someone else, maybe a soloist, and provide a beautiful background for them and let them shine. He'd bring other uh, instrumentalists together. He wanted them to shine. He wanted to lift other people up with his gift. And it didn't matter if there was a thousand people or 
Maybe it was in someone's home. Maybe a shut-in because they're sick or elderly. They couldn't get out and he just had one person there and a piano. Once he sat down at that piano, it didn't matter. It was the same passion, the same power, the same spirit. Because whether it was a thousand people or one person or a handful of people in a nursing home or the children at Merdinian School, wherever it was, he was singing for the glory of God. He wasn't singing to them. He wasn't performing for anybody. He was worshiping. And he gave glory to God. Folks, for most of us, our concern is when will I die? You know, most of us are concerned with that. When will I die and how can I live healthy so I don't die too soon? From God's perspective, the question is not when will you die, it is when will you live? When will you fall to the earth like a grain of wheat and die to yourself so I can start living through you? Are you willing to die now so that Christ may live through you and your life may shine like Reverend Harvitz. You know, it's not a tragedy for a follower of Jesus to die, even to die young. God's own son, Jesus, died at 33. God wants our lives to make a difference. The tragedy is not dying. The tragedy is to fail to live while we are here on this earth in our mortal lives. So God would like us all to follow Reverend Harwood's example and burn bright for the gospel of Jesus. Many years ago, a young man named Harut Kachadurian fell to the earth like a grain of wheat and died. And in so doing, he bore much fruit for the kingdom of God. On Friday, January 19th, the same man, Reverend Harut, did not die. On the contrary, he was simply granted the privilege of living out the rest of his life by faith in the kingdom of God. So as we mourn for ourselves today, let's rejoice for him. Though his star burned bright for too short a time, it burned strong while he was with us. And now he is enjoying his reward in the kingdom of God. Amen. We're going to begin to bring this service to a close now and transition over to Forest Lawn where we will continue at the graveside. I have just a couple of announcements I want to make. They're also included on the folder, but the family wants to thank you all for having been here today. They want to invite you to lunch. You can see it's at the LA Banquets Glen, o Glen Oaks Ballroom. The address is in the folder. They also want to thank all the participants who have helped, the musicians, the speakers, everyone who's helped on tech. They want to, they're very thankful to all of you for being here and celebrating Pastor Harwood's life and blessing them. Uh, memorial gifts, uh, you can see there's a couple of options. One is to give to the GoFundMe site. There are two QR codes there. One is for GoFundMe where you can give gifts. Those gifts, all of these gifts will go to support Eileen and her boys. Um, the other is a fund that has been established by the church, Pastoral Care Fund, which is tax deductible. So you can make your gifts to either one of those funds and use these QR codes to get to the place you need to be. Um, at the end of this service, after we sing the Heider Merit and close with the benediction, uh, Edgar is going to come forward and explain to us how we will leave the sanctuary and how we will move from here to the graveside. So I'd like us all to rise now. <laughs>
Zikvar Kautun, Yev Zorutun, Yev Tark, Habitianis Habitenitz, Yev Ink, who see us father, let's net says Amen, Urahutiam, Yev Hahutiam, said Havat Kihamemat, for Pessi, Mesboloris, who is Aratana, Surp Hoki Zorutunova. May the God of hope fill us all with joy and peace as we trust in him so that we may flow with hope with the power of the Holy Spirit. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, his comfort and peace be with all of us and especially with Harut's immediate family. Amen. Haruti <laughs> Shatter van Neri Mota, Achko Mivra, a tech Mekinan Kangnas Nelu tech Cheka, Dramar Petka Hantrang or Mutnek, Parkum Karna Kangne give head Kalik, Jamana Katebelu, Noritzen Hantrum, Yepur Arita Kunena, Kansenlo, and Meshterigato, but the fellow and Tanikin Testnelo, Harutin Testnelo, Turzga give their Mekinan of Sharjavek Araj, Ashkatakistan and Nelubopsi Terra Sharjum, Oknen Arajgana, Mekas Musin Changaring, Herta Kanusunak and the Arachin Kangnas Neda. Dearly, people who are here on behalf of Harut and family, we thank you and we ask you that we can continue this procession in an organized fashion. Shortly, we will be given an opportunity to walk from the middle row, pay our respects to the family, to Harut, travel to this next lane and exit. As you exit, please go to your vehicle and head out to Forest Lawn. The gravesite is as you enter to the Forest Lawn on your right side by the fountains. There is no parking there. You will have to enter the park, park inside the park, and walk your way back, which will take you time. And that's why, once again, we ask you that as you will pass by, that you will head out to your car and head to Forest Lawn. Also, please, when you do pass by the family, please keep your condolences either at the graveside or at the memorial luncheon. This way, we can continue moving and on to our cars. Եվ ես մեկ հիշեցում Ժողովուրդյան եթե կանցնենք խնդրում ենք ձեր ցավակցությունները պահեք կամ գերեզմանում կամ գերեզմանից հետո որպեսի կարող անանք տեղաշարժը ապահովել այս պահին խնդրում ենք կանգնածները մեջ տեղի շարժքից առաջանանք առաջ եւ այս կողմով դուրս գանք խնդրեմ առաջացեք որպես սա ոդկասայնց է բենից Hoskera, usafis horustera, koatshet antoneli alan ofte. Yasirins, beni soskera, yasafis.
to the sky. 